Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now several of you asked, they said, uh, you said, why do I use this device to fly my Phantom 4? And actually I use it for my Phantom 3 Professional as well. Uh, but there's several reasons that I use this and you can check the link within this video's description to find where to order it online. There's several different versions of the iPod Touch, but you can find the version that I use within the link within this video's description. First of all, when you look at it, it's very small. Minimal amount of travel size, minimal amount of travel weight. If you're already a subscriber of my channel, you probably know I don't like bulky things, I don't like heavy things. I like to travel as light as possible because when I'm traveling, I'm not just carrying my, carrying my drone. I'm carrying an assortment of cameras, lenses, and all kinds of good stuff. So every ounce, every extra piece of bulk, it counts. So I like to keep it very low profile. Now the thing I like about this, and you'll notice I don't have a sunshade on right now, but there is a sunshade that I use with this, and it's within this video's description. If you want to better reduce glare, definitely use the sunshade. It helps a lot, but I like the convenience of having this because in most situations, unless it's really direct sunlight, sunlight I do have really direct sunlight today, uh, so it is kind of, uh, kind of not optimal without a sunshade today, but in most situations for me, I can use it without a sunshade. Not that that's a big thing to pack. You know, you throw it in your, uh, throw it in your case along with your Phantom 4, and it's, uh, it's not that much extra bulk, but for today's purposes, I wanted to show you without a sunshade, you know, how low profile this is. And having the super sharp display like it does, I'm able to see, and, and keep in mind, I'm not flying FPV, first person view. I'm using this as a tool to enable me to confirm whether or not the object that I'm trying to capture on video or, or still photo with my Phantom 4 is properly in the frame. So keep that in mind because I don't want you to think that, well, why would someone want to, uh, excuse me, fly FPV first person view, meaning that you're looking at the screen while you're flying, and why would they want to use such a small screen? <clears throat> For that scenario, you know, and obviously I always fly a line of sight to be safe and, uh, and responsible, but even if I was doing FPV, I would, I would still find this to be useful. Again, not as big as an iPad, not as big as a, you know, an Android tablet or, or some, some phones for that matter. Sometimes I fly with my iPhone 6 Plus and the iPhone 6 Plus makes this thing feel tiny. But you know, it is what it is and it is in a little case so again, check the, uh, check the link within this video's description. It's just a little protective case that I found better protects my iPod Touch and it, uh, it fits nicely in the controller. It's, you know, it's not wobbly. It's not heavy, that's another thing. Now, if you've got the Phantom 4, you've probably realized that the mount for, the, for your iPod Touch, your, your iPhone, your, your iPad, whatever, it seems to be a lot sturdier. But even with an older style, let's say Phantom 3 Professional, tablet smartphone mount uh, this is so small and so lightweight that it that it just doesn't tend to uh, to jiggle or or feel like it's going to fall out and then also obviously you will need a short iOS cable as you can see here and I've got that linked within this video's description too so if you're looking for uh, you, you know you're looking for a short iOS cable uh, you can find it there as well and that's something I would definitely recommend if you're using the cable that comes with the iPod touch it's not going to be optimal because it's either going to be dragging down, which could become a potential trip hazard, or it's going to be wrapped around this and it just looks ugly. Look at how clean that looks. So that's why I fly with this. Now, granted, sometimes I do fly with my iPhone 6 Plus, and that's simply because, um, you know, maybe I'm using the iPod Touch for something else. I use this a lot of time, and I'm not on a lavalier style microphone now, but a lot of the times uh, when I'm using a lavalier mic, I'm using this device to capture the audio that I'm recording. So, you know, sometimes I will use my iPhone 6 Plus, and sometimes I forget my iPod Touch and all I've got is my iPhone 6 Plus, because, you know, how many times do you leave somewhere without your phone? Very few times, but it's a lot easier to leave and, and uh, you know, leave a less essential item such as an iPod Touch behind. So, yeah, I like it a lot. So, you know, try it out, tell me what you think. Again, you can find this particular version of the iPod Touch that I'm using within the link within this video's description. And most importantly, uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com 
forward slash irixguy and share this video and any of my videos with others. Thanks for watching and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership and y'all have a good day.